Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I wanted to show you a stitch for a blouse or infinity scarf if you like. It looks like like this. It's very easy, one row repeat. You can do it really fast. I think this blouse it took me maybe a day and a half to do this uh, this blouse. Yeah. Very simple, very fast. You can do a vest with this uh, with this stitch. One, a vest maybe not, but a blouse or an infinity scarf, something that you can work in rounds. Yeah, this stitch is worked in rounds, and it goes like uh, like this. You will see on the uh, thumbnail. Yeah. Well, this stitch is gonna eat some yarn, for example, but builds really fast, goes really fast. This uh, this stitch. Okay. This stitch works with multiples of 5 plus 2 more if you are to do the single crochet foundation chain. Yeah? So I have here the foundation single crochet. I will put a link underneath this video for the tutorial for this, um, let's say, the single crochet foundation chain so you have the the stitches already here so it looks like this the foundation so we're gonna go into the last stitch here the bar the line there I'm gonna pull up a loop yeah? and now we're gonna bring this we're gonna twist this a little bit like this and then we're gonna bring this into a circle making sure that doesn't twist and you're gonna go at the end here there and we're gonna close this yeah? so we're gonna pull the yarn through the first loop through the second loop like a slip stitch and then yarn over and pull the yarn to the next two yeah? and then we're gonna go to the first stitch right here the first stitch and we're gonna do another slip stitch okay. and now we're gonna chain one and into the next stitch next stitch we're gonna do in there three double crochets so one, we go back again into the same stitch and do the second double crochet and we're gonna go back for the third double crochet into the same stitch, chain one and one more double crochet into the same stitch where we did this three double crochet. So in one stitch we're gonna have three double crochet, chain one and one more double crochet. Now we're gonna skip the next four stitches one two three four and into the fifth one we're gonna repeat three double crochets like I said this uh, row has uh, this stitch has only one row repeat so we're gonna put in there three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same stitch and we're gonna repeat again we're gonna skip the next four stitches, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth one, three double crochet. So one, go back again for the second, the third, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. And we're gonna repeat like this until we finish this row. Skip the next four stitches and into the fifth, we repeat. So one, two, and the third double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Again, one, two, three, four, we skip, and into the fifth stitch, we repeat. Chain one and one more double crochet okay 
So again, we're going to skip the next four. One, two, three, four. And into the fifth, we're going to repeat. So one, two, three, chain one, and one more double crochet. And in here, we're going to go to the, the one that we had there and we're gonna do a slip stitch yeah, chain one and now we're gonna move to the we're gonna skip the three double crochets and we're gonna work into the one chain space between those three double crochet and the fourth one yeah. we're gonna go right here <coughs> and we're gonna do three double crochets one two and the third chain one and one more double crochet into that one chain space so we're going to move to the next we're going to skip the next three double crochet and into that one chain space we're going to repeat three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into that one chain space gonna be like this and we repeat gonna go straight to the one chain space so three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet and we're gonna repeat skip the next three double crochet and into that one chain space three double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet into that one chain space. It's a very easy stitch, goes really fast and it builds really fast, especially if you have a chunky yarn. So again, we're gonna skip these three and that one chain space, we repeat. And at some point this, uh, these shells will go kind of diagonally. Yeah? Skip the next three and in that one chain space do three double crochet. If I move too fast you can slow down the speed of the video, you have that option. Yeah. So we're gonna go right here, this one, and we're gonna do a slip stitch. Yeah. Chain one. And we're gonna move, skip the next three double crochets, one, two, three, and into that one chain space. We're gonna do three double crochets. Chain one. So this is where we join the we're gonna have like that. And one more double crochet in there. And you keep repeating. You skip the next three double crochet and into that one chain space, three double crochet, chain one and one more double crochet. And this, they're gonna go like this, they're gonna build, goes in uh, like diagonal, you see, they keep going like this. So as you can see with this it's a little bit large here because uh, this one I worked like 10 rows I did with a 3.0 millimeter crochet hook and when I reach the waist line I changed to 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and I did 10 more rows and after I finish the waistline 10 rows I switch back to the 3.0 millimeter crochet hook and I worked the rest all the way up yeah if you don't want to decrease then you change the the crochet hook number it's uh, much easier i didn't change with the full number like to go to 2.0 i just went half of number yeah so it gives me a little bit on the on the waistline yeah so this is the this is the stitch goes really fast and I think for a blouse, 
with a thinner yarn will look really nice. You can do an infinity scarf if you like with this. And the stitch, well, uh, this is the, the back of the work. No? And this is the back. Now depends which one you like. I like this one more. Because here uh, the like when you reach the under underarms you stop you stop and you're gonna have like this for the back and go up to the to the shoulders. Yeah. And in here I put only one rose. So for example after the under the arm I did fourteen uh, let's say clusters, 14, yeah, you can put more, depend, you, there will be more than, than that, and here at the shoulders, <coughs> I did only three clusters, one, two, and three, yeah. if you want, you can put four, to, to be a little bit wider, for the, the shoulders, up. and I did only one row of this, if you want with a little bit more opening at the neck, you can put maybe two or three rows yeah, of these three. Depends. It's up to you. I wanted this kind of on my, on my neck, not so much opening. Yeah. So this is the stitch. Well, you can give it a try. will be fun. It's very easy. One row repeat. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.